Hello and welcome to another episode of Tech Fanatic official videos, your guide to the cryptoverse. Today, I'm actually going to talk about Bicycle Fi or Bicycle Finance, which is a new project in the move to end category. And as you probably know, in the market right now, move to end is a pretty hot topic. So let's jump straight into it and see what's the project about. So it's, it's quite uh, recent and it's more about the Web3 lifestyle application that's combining the social elements, metaverse, gaming element, and the move to an element together to provide a sustainable earning mechanism. And it's more targeted as people who are doing cycling um, or doing outdoor activities with bicycles and also those who are participating in the racing. And they have different NFT types like this um, road bike, BMX, mountain bike, and touring bike. Now, if we jump more deeper into it and look at the more unique selling points, you can see that it's basically looking at the daily movement of people who are cycling, because there's a lot of projects right now focusing on runners and people who are moving around or football players. And I think people who are in the, who are cyclists, they're very interested in these sort of projects. Now, in terms of how the project works, basically to get started, you can basically you join the website and assemble your bicycle and you will be able to buy the NFTs. Once you buy the NFTs that are containing these uh, bicycle fi NFT items, you can assemble your own sort of bicycle or uh, NFT bicycle. And this depends on the type of bicycle you want because they have different filters and you like you want a BMX one or a, a touring one. And based on that, you can organize and arrange the type of bicycle that you have. And obviously, you have to have enough BCF token to make this purchase. And once you do that, you can start um, basically using it on the journey that you have. And you need the app as well for that. But they're saying that you could do it without the app as well. But let's see. Like, remember, this one is a super early project. So it depends how it goes. Now. They have the game five elements in the project and they have two tokens, which I'm going to explain later. So the uh, earning for the game five part, they have multiple modes. There's the earning cap and the earning cap basically has a solo mode that you ride and you can earn the, basically based on the solo mode that you're cycling with yourself. And this re remaining uh, restricts the amount of energy you can spend and the token that you can earn per day. So there's a cap, it's not unlimited. And you can use this, um, you, so you have a limited energy to start and to use for the cycling. And the better quality that you have in terms of the NFT items, the more you can use this for the cycling component. So as a user, you can start the game with your bicycle and you can do different activities like delivery, racing, cycling, or riding, but you have a limit on how much you can use. So as you can see here, for example, they have the touring bike and that's the score that's 308 and the rarity. And they have different scores for uh, resilience, comfort, efficiency. And based on all these different scores and productivity, you get a different amount of score. So it's not a fixed component based on what you have. They have the assembling function. So you can mint your own bicycle, as I mentioned, using the assemble section. And there will be a random generator where your character is coming based on the BCF. And you must redeem this and make sure it's not the action that you can reverse when you're doing this. And you can always sell, gift, or transfer these bicycle NFTs in the marketplace that they will have to other people. So this is, for example, the mountain bike. You have the leveling up for these. So when you're joining, you have the base level or level zero. And as you go up, you need the CYC token, which is the end game token to increase your level for the game and improve your skill sets for this game. And the higher the bicycle level you have, the more CYC token you need for it. So you can end this using riding jobs. You can do solo racing. You can do team racing. You can do player versus environment. And increasing your level is the most important component that you need to think about because it impacts your power and efficiency of the level of work that you are putting into. And you have to do a high level mining task for to have a compatibility for your bicycle, basically. 
and they have upgrade levels so it can go all the way from common to legendary which is legendary is the highest level you can go all the way to level 12 whereas common is level 2 and once you reach level 20 then you will be able to earn bcf which is the token that's going to be tradable on dexes um before that you're going to be dealing with the cyc token and additional perks are going to be unlocked in each level as well which the most important probably for people would be that bcf token so it's not from the start um they have different bicycle characteristics for example the bmx bike has their own capability city bike is suited more for city environment they have hybrid bike they have mountain bike road bike and you can customize them as well there will be initially 10,000 genesis bicycle on the binance chain and in terms of attributes as you can see they give you the description of what attributes the bicycle is going to have efficiency so efficiency is mostly applicable when you're doing the solo mode or race mode and it's the depending um, number of cyc or in-game token that you receive as a reward so that's the efficiency the better efficiency you have the more tokens you get lock gives you the factor where you get the drops or box drops or mystery boxes that come in resilience is the factor that gives you the durability index for the bicycle so you don't have to worry too much about the repairing costs when you have a better resilience score comfort is the uh, when you're traveling in the city or different environments the comfort level is different because it depends on the environment and the type of bicycle frame is basically more of a stability function power is how fast you can go and the, the more the distance you can cover the more tokens you can earn obviously and then you have the quality as well i've already mentioned the rarity levels from common all the way to legendary and the percentage of the attributes you've got accessories and leaderboard system as well and they've got energy system uh, anti-cheat system tax system and metaverse elements as well now in terms of the earning mechanism for this, they have riding jobs. So as a rider, you have daily activities that you can complete and they earn you the CYC token, which is a cycle token and depends on the jobs you're completing. So you need to make sure you complete the activities based on the skill sets you have. And based on the fact, fact that you stop uh, working or what activity you're doing. So, you need to have at least 50, uh, 50 blocks or 20,000 uh, 20, blocks per day. So if your bicycle durability is back to zero, then you're not able to work anymore. And the interface is going to be showing you the red color. So the, that's the riding job that I mentioned and the limit that you have. You can do city delivery job, which is the most basic type of work. And so this is the job you can do in the metaverse, basically. And the salary per block is going to be 0 0.01 of the token. They have the fast delivery job. That means you need a better sort of bicycle. So you need a mountain bike or road bike. And you have to have a speed multiplier and level requirement. And then that gives you a higher salary, basically. You've got the countryside. This one is more of a mountain or hydro or BMX bike. and again different salary so as i said there are different type of um, bicycles with different type of jobs in the game as i said this is a project that focuses on you earning for riding bicycle but also for gaming function and also they have the metaverse function in, in the game the salary calculation is proportional to the price of the cyc token and the speed multiplier they have a take a break function. So the higher the quality of your bicycle, the higher repair costs will be, but then you have a better stamina function as well. And they have a refill function, which is paid by the CYC token. And when you do the refill, you can continue the job. So there's a whole lot of info on that uh, take a break element. You will have to use a decentralized wallet to be able to use this system and 
it's going to be that stage one on BNB, but they're going to also go to Ethereum and Solana. They'll have a marketplace that you can earn for NFTs and badges. They'll have a rental system, trading system, and credit card system, as well as staking. So these are the sort of functionalities that they have for earning the token. Now, in terms of the tokenomics, they have two different tokens for the game. One is the game token, which is CYC, and the other token is BCF, or the governance token. So as you can see here as well, this BCF token is the token that's going to be used for staking, it's going to be used for liquidity, it's going to be treasury mining for CYC, it's going to be used for referral, and it can be used to upgrade NFTs. And when you do a player versus player mode in racing, you end BCF. Whereas CYC is the token that's um, in game economy and it can be used to upgrade NFTs, but it's not tradable on DEXs. So as you can see here, the BCF token is the core governance token for the bicycle fight, has limited supply, and it's going to give you uh, rewards for the battle. You can stake it for getting a APR and there's a liquidity reward as well, as well as the NFT trading. The use case for it is that you can mint a bicycle using the NFT, you can upgrade your levels, you can craft equipments, and it's also a governance token that can be used for voting. 10% of the BCF token will be banned as the minting fee that you have to pay. 10% is for upgrade level, and there's going to be 1% for the game. And that's basically the deflationary mechanism and buyback mechanism they're employing. The CYC token will be unlimited in supply because there is in-game token and it's the player versus environment or solo mode that you have, racing reward and for your daily work. And you can use it to upgrade your bicycle, uh, upgrade your level, recover energy, craft equipments, repair your bicycle. And it also has the burning schedule. So as I mentioned for the BCF earning mechanics, you need to have level 20 or higher if you want to earn BCF token in game. And you need to have at least three energy bars in order to start earning BCF. And each day, there will be a decay pattern for the BCF. And the unlock token will be halved, just like Bitcoin halving system to make it more deflationary and as well as more rare. And they have the Bitcoin mechanic as well as um, they call it Einstein mechanics. So they have burning basically and make it more difficult also to earn. In terms of the tokenomics investing schedule, 11% is on private round and 6% is on public sales. So that's a total of um, 17%. And the total raise is 1.57 million or 1.6 million, which is not bad um, for a crypto project at a valuation of $12.5 million, fully diluted. The raise for private has been at zero, so 0 0.015 of a dollar. And that coin is a value cap at 7.5 mil. It has a schedule of 10% on lock on token generation event, one month lock, and a linear monthly on lock for 18 months. The public sale token will have the price of 0 0.025. So it is 70% more expensive than the private round. However, the unlock schedule is more short and aggressive. So you will get all your tokens within four months because there's a 25% monthly release of the token. And they also have a higher valuation. They have a cycling and move and end component, which I mentioned earlier. 30% is allocated for that, 2.5% per month. And this starts up in the launch of the game. Liquidity is going to be 10% of the component. 20% of that will be on token generation event. And the rest of this unlock will happen 24 months. Ecosystem will have 19% of the tokenomics starting from second month for 2.5% per month. Marketing and partnership is 2.5% one week after TGE and then 36 months vesting. 
team has 15%, which is good, standard, six months cliff and 5% on lock per month. Same for advisors. And total of team and advisor token of 18%, which is fair. Now, there's a governance mechanism as well that there's a 2% marketplace fee. And they, they basically here to sustain the operation of the project. And also the, the trading fees, 5% goes back to the BCF system. There's also tax from the funding collected and going to the treasury pool. They also have the voting power based on how many years or months you've locked your tokens. They also have voting options on the dividends that you have. So these are the different options that they have. They have a burning mechanism, as I mentioned, on the levels that you have to make sure the token will be deflationary, there's energy offset, and they also have a donation system in place. In terms of the project support and partners, they have been starter, they have BSC Station, they've got KDG, they've got Certic, they've got BD Ventures, Fam Central, OneBit, Lossless, MG Trading behind them as some of the backers, as well as NFTB, which are quite well known launchpads. In terms of the and team members, the people who are basically experienced more in the game design in the crypto space as well as and they're, they're mostly from vietnam and also the bsc state bsc station team is a partner with them so that's where the project got incubated in terms of the roadmap in q1 the concept came up and the phase of move and earn ideation and cycle and end ideation came out in the second quarter, which is now the community building comments, the planning for the GPS tracking, marketplace, game file release, um, staking, the play versus environment activities comments, and the metaverse phase as well. The IDO is going to be in May and the DEX listing as well. In the next quarter, they're going to focus on the GPS development, game file, PVP, wallet update, rental system, and metaverse system. In Q4 of this year, they're focusing on online touring, social find elements, the GPS functionality update, and having more community activities outdoor. In the Q1 2023, they're going to have the luxury metaverse to be functional, as well as developing the full um, output for the map of the system. In terms of the social media, you can find their social media detail on website. So they've got Telegram group in Vietnamese and English. The English group has 65,000 members. Twitter has 25K members and they have a Vietnamese group. The Discord as well is quite active. So they've very quickly, I think because of the interest of everyone in the move to end space, quickly moved to um, support the project. Where you can purchase this token and invest in the project is on three launch pads, one of which is BSC Station, KDG, and Beanstarter, which is the favorite one for me out of the three. So to be able to invest, you basically need to have the tokens for Beanstarter, which right now, because of the market crash, the value has gone down all the way to $0.2, which is a really really cheap price for this and they've got the pools on how many you can stake and what you have to do is you go to the pools you stake your tokens based on the staking that you do you will get allocation so here you can see the pool pools and how much tokens has been staked based on how many tokens have been staked you can participate in one of these pools for the idea of the project so, and they have different lock duration, basically. So to participate, you basically lock your tokens. You participate here on the whitelist component of the IDU project section. You express your interest, which you still have a day and a half to register. And once you do that during the IDO, they will have the pools open and you can participate in their IDOs. And this month, Beanstarter has actually got a high number of IDOs. 
So I step, bicycle fi. So they're all moved to end. I step is moved to end. Bicycle fi is moved to end. Olympia is also a moved to end project. So they've got a fair few projects coming up basically. Now, in terms of the market narrative, obviously the market has dumped because of the situation with the crypto space and especially with Terra ecosystem. However, every time the market recovers, you can see the Stepa, which is the most popular move to end project right now, quickly goes through a recovery. So as you can see, in the last seven days, the price went down, but anytime the market is recovering, there's a very steep recovery in this project as well. So it's the only narrative that I am interested to follow right now um, until the market um, heats back up. At the moment, unfortunately, the market is not in the best phase. Um, so I'm, I'm not suggesting taking big risk in this market, but if you're really interested to take risks, I think the move to end space would, or, or investing in blue chip coins would be the way to go. So that depends on your risk appetite as well. Remember, I don't provide financial advice, and this is just something I'm thinking of um, right now with the market. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like and you subscribe to my channel. If you have any question, please share your questions here as well. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time.